Hey guys, so in today's video, we are going to be doing part one of our AliExpress that I told you guys I ordered about a month ago. So these are the six colors I got off of AliExpress. They are Born Pretty. This one is Angel Dream. It's a true white. This one is Sorrow Time. This is a white with like a pinkish undertone to it. This one is Pink Memories. It's a really pretty pink, but it's a subtle pink tint. It's got more of a skin tone nude type of base to it. This one here is Crystal Love, which is a really pretty sheer kind of cover pink. I wish it was more pigmented. I wanted more of a true pink. This one is Snow Elves. This is the hollow dip powder and it is hollow. I just, I can't get the shifting rainbows to come up on camera, but you will see in the reveal photos at the end. This one is Memory. This one is a really pretty hollow glitter with a green base color to it. So I'm going to be using the Snow Elves, the silver glitter with the hollow. And I went ahead and did two dips of Ori by Revel. I didn't include that in the video because it's not AliExpress, but I wanted to do a solid glitter that would just kind of break this up. I'm not the type to do this kind of glitter on all of my nails. It's just a little too much for me. And I did order rhinestones off of AliExpress, so I wanted to use that in this video, but I didn't want to put them on the glitter nails. So I'm just going to do my basic dip powder application, of course going from cuticle to free edge, and dipping into the powder. You guys, this powder is actually really pigmented you could get away with doing like a dip in clear a dip in this and then capping it in clear and being good to go if you are going to dip straight into the jar it i've found that it does go on a little thick so i think the next time i use this one or the green hollow one i think i'm going to try it with my dipalicious base just because that base is a bit thinner and better for glitters so my pointer finger i'm going to dip into the jar and then for my thumb i decided to sprinkle it on and see if that would make it go on just a little bit thinner which it did so while I am doing that, I just wanted to tell you guys that the pink colors and the white colors uh, were $1.49. And all of these jars you get 0.34 ounces. So you get a good amount of powder. And honestly, you're paying $1.50 for it. So <laughs> you can't even really say that it's not worth it. <laughs> Cause I don't know about you, but I pay anywhere from like eight and up for a half an ounce. So if you find a color that you like off of AliExpress and you want more, you can get like two jars of it for three bucks. <laughs> so the solid color dips were $1.49, that is with tax. And then the two hollow color, uh, glitter powders that I got were $1.67. And while I'm doing this, I just wanted to tell you guys, I also got swatches off of AliExpress, which I don't show in this video, but you could see them because I swatched them. I paid like $2 for 50 of them. So I got four packs of them and I paid $7.04. So I'm going to be ordering all my swatches off of AliExpress all the time. 
like once a month. <laughs> but yeah, I was actually really impressed with this dip powder. So I am just gonna dust off really good. And the powder is packed to the top. So I suggest having a cupcake liner. I like to use um, my oversized jars just to catch the excess when I'm sprinkling over and dusting off. You can use cupcake liner, just sprinkle it back in the jar, throw away your cupcake liner, keep them. Jars are just convenient for me because I can just dump it back in, dust them out or rinse them out and reuse them, be good to go. So for my second dip with these, I am going to sprinkle over just so that they go on a little bit thinner. And then of course I will cap all of these in clear and activate my usual dip powder application. So I will let you guys watch me finish up doing this and I will be back in a bit to show you guys the rhinestone kit that I got off of AliExpress. All right, be back in a bit.
All right, you guys, so my dip powder application is all done. I've dusted off, activated, and these files I also got off of AliExpress. So I got a pack of five of these 180, 180 grit files, and these I paid. The original price for them was $2.57, um, but since it was my first time ordering off of AliExpress, it gave me the option to pick um, one item for one penny. So I paid one penny for five files, and I was surprised at actually how good these files are. Like they're firm, they're not bending as I'm filing with them. So I'm going to keep using them and see how well they hold up. But so far I've used them a couple times now and I was actually really, really impressed with them. So again, five pack of those I paid a penny for. <laughs> The only thing though is if you haven't ordered off of AliExpress before and you do for your first time, you do have to do it as a separate order. It won't let you fill your cart up completely and just pick one item for one cent and check out and be done. You kind of have to pick one item for the penny and check out and then do a separate order with the rest. But Tax and shipping with AliExpress is nothing. It's so cheap. So if you're patient, a patient person, then I would, I would recommend checking them out. The part two of the AliExpress will be their cat eye gel polishes. So we will just do clear um, dip powder nails and do the their black gel polish, I did get their black gel polish as well as I think four different colors of the cat eye magnetic polishes. So I'm excited to do that. So that will be our part two of AliExpress. So I'm just going to continue speedily filing <laughs> and we will we i will be back in a minute to talk about the rhinestones that i got So I've went ahead and e-filed off camera because I didn't get my e-file off of AliExpress, but they do have them on there. So this is the rhinestone slash tool kit that I got. It was a dollar and 49 cents. You get 600 rhinestones. They don't come in this jar. My son likes to open the mail and he opened it and ripped the little bag that the rhinestones were in. So I dumped them in the jar so I didn't lose any. So that was the biggest one. You get six different sizes, 100 of each size. And this is the little silicone pad that comes with it. And this is what you put on the little picker upper end of the tool. And this is what picks up the stones. You can just stamp it in there if you're just using these smaller stones or you can just rip off a little piece. Since I'm doing the medium sized stones, I'm going to just put a little piece on here and just mold it into somewhat of a little flattened type of point. So you do wanna make sure if you order this that you keep that little pad, don't throw that out. This kit does not come with instructions either. So, but as you can see, it does pick up. And as you can see, it's, it's a straw. It's a hard plastic straw. But hey, it gets the job done. It does work. So my middle finger, you didn't see me do that because 
Um, I end up taking it off in a minute. I wasn't a big fan of it. But I am using a little bit of a gel base coat. I know a lot of people like to do a full top coat and then put their stones on and then cure. I like to do just a little bit of base coat where I'm going to put my stones because if any of them start to shift on me, I can give it a quick like 15, 20 second flash cure and the base is still going to be sticky to where I can still add stones onto it. Plus, I like to add top coat over top of all of it. Um, that way it kind of seals in the harsh edges. So if I'm brushing my hair or putting my hair up in a ponytail, I'm not going to get any hair getting caught in between the rhinestones. So I'm just going to place the stones where I want. And I did use my AliExpress file to get off any excess um, base gel that was on there. And now I'm going to do the same thing to my middle finger. And I will, of course, as always, have links to everything that I used and all of the links to the products from AliExpress in the description of this video if anybody is interested in any of that. I will say that I am actually impressed. I've had this set on for mm, about four days now and I haven't had any issues. They still look just as good as when I first did them. All my rhinestones are still on. I'm not having any lifting or chipping or anything with the powder. So I'm actually impressed. I really thought spending a dollar something on dip powder. I did not expect it to actually work and last. And I am going to keep this set on for probably mm, longer than I usually do. So we will see. And you guys will see in the reveal photos in a couple minutes how good the hollow is in there. So back to this. I'm just going to use my little picker-upper straw. <laughs> and put my stones where I want them. I'm just going for a little um, corner design. I'm not gonna make fun of the little straw picker upper because it does actually work. I didn't think it was going to. And I even tried off camera picking up these larger stones and it picked up those too. So I'm just going to use an orange wood stick just because I don't want to get any gel on the rubber part of the tool. And I'm just going to angle it the way that I like. And I did go ahead and give that a flash cure for a couple seconds. And now I'm going to go in with my smaller ones. As you can see, they're still sticking. I didn't add any more base. But that is the whole point of a gel base coat is so that it stays sticky so your top coat has something to adhere to which is why I really like using it for the gems so I did go ahead and top coat off camera and now I'm just going in with a little bit of candy skincare cuticle oil I was recently introduced to this stuff and I absolutely love it it smells so good, but it's not an overpowering smell. It's really light. I got the cotton candy scent, and it's so good. It brings me back to being like 12 years old at the carnival. <laughs> so here are the finished nails. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.